starts right now. First at four, there have now been five deadly officer-involved shootings in the city of Toledo just this year. This after the most recent last night. A TPD officer shot a 62-year-old woman four times after she came at officers with a pair of scissors. The police chief has spoken about this latest deadly shooting. And Michelle Zapata is live at the safety building with his reaction. Well, Chief Navarre says that the high number of police-involved shootings this year is just a fluke. And as always, it's not his place to determine if this one was justified or not, though he does say that the officer did act in self-defense. I do sense, though, that this shooting, compared to others, there's a little bit of uncertainty around it. When someone is coming at you with a weapon that can cause death, uh, I think the officer certainly is within her rights to take action to prevent that from happening. The chief's comments stem from what happened here at Maria's family home, a group home on Fernwood around 8 last night. Yeah, I need a crisis. Police here. I have a client coming at me with a knife. Within three minutes, Officer Diane Chandler and Rebecca Kenny responded. They were told 62-year-old Linda Hicks, a schizophrenic resident, didn't take her meds and was acting out. Linda Hicks was laying on the bed. She had her hands under a pillow. It appeared that uh, she may have had something in her hand. They thought she had something in her hand because she wouldn't remove her hands from the pillow. They One of the officers tried to use her taser. It didn't work, so Hicks was stunned on the skin. That's when Hicks threatened to kill the officers. Linda Hicks advanced toward Officer Chandler with the scissors in a raised position. Actually, it was in her left hand. And Officer Chandler fired four times. Two rounds hit her in the head. She was pronounced dead when medics arrived. Officer Chandler, who shot Hicks, was actually trained in crisis intervention, specializing in dealing with suspects with mental problems. This happened very quick. Sure. These officers had no opportunity to, uh, to uh, try and talk her out of the action that she took because she responded so quickly. Now, Officer Chandler is a four-year vet of the Toledo Police Department. Her, as well as her partner, are on administrative leave pending the investigation, which is something that is normal. Now, tonight, first at 10, we're going to take another look at tasers and the use. As it turns out, this is the second time in a police-involved shooting that a taser malfunctioned. We'll have more on that tonight, first at 10. But for now, reporting live at the Safety Building, Michelle Zapata, Fox Toledo News, first at 4. All right, Michelle, thanks very much. Now, the Toledo Police Handbook allows officers to use their weapon when they feel they are in danger. So do you feel this officer's actions were justified in this situation? That's our Fox Toledo feedback question of the day. So you want to head to Twitter or Facebook and give us your thoughts there. You can also send us an email, and we'll read some of those thoughts tonight at 10 o'clock.